Tonight, members of the Asian American community and several law enforcement agencies are speaking out against hate crimes following an increase in violence. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. Tonight, leaders are working to make a change. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live now with what's being done to fight against hate. Roland. Well, Eric Deanna, it wasn't too long ago when this business owner here at India K. Raja found hateful messages spread across his building and damages left outside of his Enrico business. Unfortunately, though, he wasn't the only one that's fell victim to one of these hateful crimes in the past month. Right now, though, law enforcement is working with community members to put a stop to this. Racist language spread across storefronts and shattered glass punctured through worship centers. According to Enrico police, these acts of hate crimes are becoming a, quote, reoccurring trend. This comes after Enrico police reported two separate hate crimes in the month of October targeting the Asian American community. What Tin Pham with the Virginia Asian Chamber of Commerce is asking for tonight is to help one another. And if all the people of color's communities work together, we got to have a very strong voice to change the way we're doing business. Across central Virginia, you will now find local agencies like the Richmond, Chesterfield, and Hanover Police Departments starting new programs in their communities after seeing an uptick in violence. And RICO Police shared a flyer with their community stating that they are now working to provide no cost law enforcement security presence at any location that may have been a victim of a hate crime. To qualify, you must live in Enrico County and have been a target of a hate crime. Tin says programs like these, along with community relationship building, is difficult to do, but needed to move forward. That is what's something that we're going to have to educate our community to make sure everybody stand up and stand tall. Enrico Police tells me they are still investigating these two reported hate crimes. But if you'd like to know more information about the resources available to you by law enforcement in your area, I'll have that information for you online at WRIC.com. For now, though, live in Henrico, Roland Wilson, 8 News.